Hey, hey, today's grip strength challenge. Without any doubts, we can call a bed sheet challenge. Because we're actually going to use some bed sheets. And you see, it's a, just a normal bed sheet from the Walmart. And the sponsor of today's video is my pocket. My pocket is the place where I carry my debit card. And the first step for today will be the way how we're gonna attach the fabric on the truss. Because we basically have aluminum structure and a piece of fabric. And the beautiful part of every Ninja Warrior gym is that you have a shop where you can build almost everything you want. So I have a leftovers here from the previous obstacle I was working on and I just probably want to pinch it and make sure that everything kind of secure. I don't think that it should take much time. Well, so far it looks interesting and I have two concerns. First one, I wonder if Walmart sheets strong enough to hold a human body. And the second one, it's a little bit too short uh, and uh, probably will be way too easy. Again, we always can make things bigger and longer. And I think let's set it up first to be able to judge it more properly. I think every bad sheet have to have uh, some, you know, crash test. Well, strength test partially passed. Let's try to do it as an obstacle. What do you want for six bucks, right? Well, I think the fact that I put only one layer in attachment point, I believe it was predictable. Okay, so without any exaggeration, holding a piece of material, not very friendly for your joints. The reason why when you hold something thick like a hold, for example, you have, uh, hmm, you have space in your fist between your finger. So, and you basically like hold and start like squeezing. Here, when you hold the material, you have nothing in your hand. You just squeeze your entire fist and try to fight the fabric that wants to open it. Maybe this is the reason why the aerial artist using way more thicker fabric. I'm gonna show you, we have a couple here. So fabric here is way more thicker and it's way nicer to touch. It's still harder than the holding some, you know, some climbing holds or Ninja Warrior holds, but it's easier than holding just the naked fabric that doesn't have a purpose for people to hold on it. I want to give it one more try. That was expectable. In general, with a proper construction, I think it might be a very good Ninja Warrior obstacle. I believe I saw it on the original Sasuke TV show. I'm pretty sure they use a very thick material. And if you see carefully, you can see that they make the folds so athletes can grab the piece of material uh, thicker. The fact that it's a static obstacle, so you start static, is a good concept. But I'm wondering if it's possible to lache to it, to throw yourself to the plain surface of fabric and catch it. Let's try. So before we actually start the most exciting part of our experiment, I want to say that the vertical grips, the, the pull-ups with towels that pretty much every fitness channel promotes, very good for your grip strength. And it's partially true until you use enough of fabric in your hand to make sure that your finger joints are safe. And incorporating towel pull-up in your workout program might be very beneficial for your grip strength, but it also can be a reason of your finger joint problems in the future or in the long term. Unless you use the right thickness of the towel, unless you keep in mind the healthy position of your joints, if you feel comfortable. Just every time when you finish your vertical grip or towel pull-up set, make sure that your fingers feel fine. Because vertical grip on towels will provide this kind of motion that it will twist your fingers that way 
and it will bring a lot of discomfort on your joints which again can be a reason of your joint problem on the future on the long term again have fun experiment find something that you genuinely like and if you see the result and progression in it it's it's fantastic but as well as working out today you investing in your future don't forget that having small tiny problems it's also investing in your future problem on the long term so anyway uh, let's talk more work in the last moment I changed my mind I want to do a double but I decided to make it single one more time just because I want to see if new sheets are strong enough to catch me and if not I think it will be a very interesting shot I have opportunity to play the tough guy and say, oh, you know, easy cake. But again, the danger part of it, when you grab it, you actually grab nothing. I I'm not sure that you will able to hear the finger cracks, but it just doesn't feel nice. Anyway, my genuine opinion for six bucks, it's a pretty decent shit. And also for some reason today, it's very hard to estimate how much health I have left. And after two confident catches, I don't know that I have capacity to catch one more time. Also, when I was a kid, I was a big fan of the Prince of Persia. I believe it's a viral within when he used his knife to cut a piece of fabric in a castle and kind of like slow down. And of course, it's a computer game and the physics works a little bit different over there. And I don't see any reasonable excuse to not try it right now. Let's just find out how different the physics works in real world and in the computer game. <laughs> So predictable reality, if you try to slow yourself down by cutting fabric using your knife, you probably will die. The good news, it will be probably very fast. Jokes aside, uh, I think it's a good experiment. And again, we cannot finish the video unless we tear it apart. I think it's way too much fun for six bucks. Anyway, I think it's a very good concept to create Ninja Warrior obstacles. And again, the strength in your vertical grip may or may not improve the quality of your life. My personal opinion, having it is a little bit better than not having it. And I think no matter what happens in your life, what others think about you or others tell about you, sometimes I feel so healthy to be stupid. And I think at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter if you win or lose. If you play by yourself, and more likely if you truly enjoy playing. Thank you for your time. I wish all your dreams come true in 2023. Have fun, be safe and happy new year.